What is going on, party people? Today we are talking about this thingy here, but also... If you are looking to get started with Azure, learning Azure, maybe you're studying for the AZ900, which is the entry-level Azure certification, I have some good, good goodies. <laughs> I have some goodies for you, but I'll talk about that at the end of this video. Um, yeah, let's talk about how I got this. Nothing has given me more imposter syndrome than having this award. Um, I guess I should start off by saying that the MVP award is something that you have to be nominated for by someone at Microsoft or someone who's an MVP already. You can't like sign up for it or apply for it or, you know, I don't know. It's not like a form you fill out or anything like that. Yeah, you have to be nominated. Um, so I was nominated back for in the for the first time back in, I want to say like March, perhaps. And I had just started my YouTube channel. I had a couple of videos. Um, the entire time of having my YouTube channel, I've been consistent with like at least a video or two each week. So I had a couple of videos back then, but I had just got, gotten started. You know, each video had a blog post back then too. So I had some content out there, but nothing significant. So I was nominated by someone at Microsoft and I got rejected obviously because I didn't have enough stuff. Um, they were like, it's great, but it's not enough for us to judge the quality. I did feel a little bummed, but it just like motivated me. It was like, nah, I gotta keep grinding. So um, the MVP thing kind of just was like in the back of my mind, but it wasn't really like a goal anymore. Cause I kind of, I did get my feelings hurt. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But uh, anyway, yeah, I kept making like a video too uh, per week and come like June, I think June or July, um, someone else from Microsoft nominates me. And um, you might ask like, Gwen, how do you know all these Microsoft people? And the answer is social media. I have been sharing my stuff, uh, like all the tutorials and videos that I've made on Reddit and Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, literally anywhere that I have a social media profile. And you know how social media is, if people, you know, find it, like it, retweet it, and it gets on other people's radar and just like that. That's really, yeah, I, that's the only answer I have. Um, so yeah, anyway, I get nominated again towards the beginning of the summer. And it was great. I really felt like that this time. I'm like, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna get this. But um, I don't hear back until August 1st. So I kind of went through the entire summer not knowing. And uh, August 1st, I get the email like, hey, you've been awarded this. And I have like a reaction video and an unboxing video of the award on my channel. You can go look at those if you'd like. And yeah, and I got it. And then after a couple of weeks, you actually get this. And then for each year, you get one of these thingies. Uh, and you also get like that plaque thingy up there. And that thing has my name. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. When I got the award, um, my parents actually hugged me. And they told me they were proud, so that was nice. But yeah, you get a couple of goodies and obviously the recognition. And I'm able to put like, hey, I'm an MVP in my Twitter bio. And it, and it has helped like landing um, like consulting gigs. And it definitely helped uh, to land my role at ACG now. Um, yeah, I can't lie. It's, it's nice. It's opened me up to, you know, the community MV of MVPs and a couple of other resources and yeah, it's been great, but there's no real secret to actually getting it. Um, there's no, and I think, I think that's good. Like there's no time requirement. There's no like amount of things you have to do or videos you have to create or blog posts or podcasts or anything like that. They really just judge you on, Hey, are you creating consistent quality content for the community? That's really it. Um, so sorry if that wasn't the answer you were looking for, but that's really how it happened for me. And I guess the best tip I can make, I guess the best tip I can give you all, if you're interested in becoming an MVP is really just create content that's uniquely you. Keep in mind that everything that's out there has been done already. Um, my stuff isn't necessarily new, but I think I do bring, um, I bring myself into it. Like you seem, you know my face and my personality in my videos and i'm very proud of that and i think that helps me stick out so just make sure you bring you to your content right that's pretty much it um oh yes in terms of the goodies that i was mentioning mentioning at the beginning so if you're studying for the ac 900 maybe you're new to a cloud um i remember those times they were very confusing very stressful um very anxious <laughs> but anyway uh, I'm gonna be doing a live walkthrough of that exam we're gonna have some sample questions and we're gonna go over the answers we're gonna talk a little bit about tips and just have fun we're gonna study together um, that's gonna be live on the ACG YouTube channel I'm gonna leave the link in the description that's gonna be February 2nd I don't remember the exact time but again like I said the link will be in the description you can come hang out in the chat ask questions uh, we'll be there to help you out so let's study together right 
Um, also, I released some more Azure Fundamental videos on the ACG YouTube channel. And one is about setting up budgets and billing alerts. I don't know if I've ever told this story on the, on the channel, but when I was a junior cloud engineer um, at that role, uh, we had like, we had time to kind of just play around and experiment with stuff and just learn. Um, so I had once been playing around with, I think it was Cosmos DB and I racked up like a thousand dollars over, I don't know if it was a month or a little bit over a month because I had forgotten to remove the resource after I was done playing with it. And luckily my boss was, you know, still is a fantastic guy and he was like, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, if I had to end up uh, budgets and billing alerts, that would have never happened. So now that I, there's this video, I'm very happy to share this as a resource for you all. Um, there's also a video on securing your account with MFA and such. That's also there. I'll link all this stuff in the description. Oh, and if you are studying for the AZ-900, the actual AZ-900 certification course is free for you to take. So it's an entire certification course uh, for you to indulge in for free. Um, as you can see, I'm studying for my LPIC one and I'm trying to share more like updates on like, you know, when I'm done studying or, you know, what I covered and such. Not necessarily like full videos, but just like posts, like you'll see in, in the community tab here on my channel. Um, I'll share posts like, hey, I just finished studying. What are you studying? T talk to me. Um, as much as I love hearing fr from you all and what you all are all studying about, it really helps me keep myself accountable. Um, just knowing that, you know, there's people out there who kind of look for uh, like a gentle reminder, like, hey, Gwen's studying. Maybe I should study too or something like that. And it really helps me because I struggle with studying every single day. Um, I sit down and I'm like, man, I really don't want to do this. I'd rather like play like Far Cry or GTA. <laughs> but, you know, it's something we all have to get done, right? So just sharing those little updates with y'all really does help me. So that's been great. And that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, a bunch of cool stuff. We're doing a lot of Azure stuff this month with ACG. Very excited because you all know I freaking love Azure um and yeah anyway that's it for this video if you have any questions hit me up on twitter at made by gps i will see you in the next video